Hello and welcome to Bro Jewel. Today we've got a new house mod for you called the Snake Pit. You'll be able to find the new home just to the southwest of Whiterun or to the north of Falkreath, near the huge lake in Falkreath Hold. As you approach the home you'll notice its small size. It's a one room home that has no loading screens and has fully functional windows allowing you to see the view of the lake outside. There's not much here that you consider unique, a few crafting items as well as a lot of mess. Outside you've also got a fishing deck and a small garden with some vegetables. But the really interesting thing about this house is only apparent once you activate a trap door leading underground. As soon as you step foot downstairs, the stark contrast when compared to upstairs is apparent. You've gone from a bright, open and innocent player home to something that's definitely more sinister. The dark underground tunnel system will lead you to a variety of different rooms. Some are simple and easy to find, and others are much more hidden. Most doors will be activated through pulling a chain, but some will need you to activate a door that's disguised as a wall. There are a few traps around the floor too, like a poison trap and a swinging axe trap as you get further into the dungeon. The entirety of the underground home has a very sinister feel and has rooms dedicated to different people or groups, like an armory that's dedicated to the Dark Brotherhood and an enchanting crypt that's dedicated to Nocturnal. Each room has features that definitely set it apart from the others, like huge statues and other smaller decorations. From the main bedroom in the first part of the underground, you can activate a wall and be sent deeper inside. There are no loading screens downstairs, so navigating the home is a breeze, everything flows well and has been planned out carefully. The second half of the underground is definitely more sinister than the first. There are a couple of rooms dedicated to torturing people and three cells to punish any prisoners. You've also got a summoning room that has dead draugas in it, so you can refine your necromancy skills in there. Along with the huge new home, there are also two new followers, Singor, a fisherman that you can find outside your home. He's a male Bosma that can accompany you or serve as a simple merchant. And Voline, a Dunma female that sells rarer items and has been made to play very stealthily. She has light foot, muffle and silence perks and she'll never be the one to initiate an attack. Overall, this is one of the most unique player homes that we've seen. The mod creator Mad Frenchy has also made the fight against the Thalmor mods that we've covered in the past. So if you like the look of this mod, don't forget to check out those great quest mods too. That's all for this spotlight, remember to leave an endorsement on any mod you enjoy using, and thanks for watching.